Red Dead Redemption players across the globe are engaging in the nation's new hate craze, the vomit rope. And Battle Royales beware, your competition has arrived. All of that and more in today's episode of Z Club. Stupid. They're not. What's nine plus ten? Twenty-one. You stupid. This just in: crafty players in Red Dead Redemption 2 have figured out a way of reducing fall damage by making themselves sick. The trend is called vomit roping, and is just as grim as you'd expect. As the process goes, you stand next to a ledge, eat a sick-inducing plant, and then jump off just as the eating animation begins. With enough airtime, you'll start puking during the fall, which creates a vomit rope and eradicates fall damage. Upon hearing this news, our incredibly brave intern, Carib, felt inspired to see if this would work in other games. Unpacking his GoPro, he hit the road and willfully tested the theory not long ago. Alright, bro, you ready? No, I'm not ready in the slightest. Come on, what are you afraid of? Uh, the 45 foot drop, uh, my certain death. I, I'm a, I'm a Spartan, the water? I mean, hello? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yo! Yo, holy shit, he did! Oh. Breaking news on KCAL 9 right now, and you are looking at a very fast high speed Play pursuit. Like Coop at the lot, told him for a 12 fuck swat. Buzzing all the bells out the box. I just hit a lick with the box. Had to put the stick in the box. Mission Control reports that Carol Kid still has a pulse. <laughs> Gotta admit, the kid has heart. I wonder if Battle Royales will have the same amount. They'll need it with games like this releasing for free in the Epic Store. The Cycle is a competitive quest shooter, which is player versus environment versus player, which offers a weird combination that has never been explored before, which is a heart racing PvE struggle against a treacherous planet and its unfriendly alien inhibitants amidst an optional PvP battle for resource supremacy. Now let me start by saying, jumping into this game, it was hard to fight off the flashbacks of all the crappy battle royales that took over 2019, and to be honest, I was wrong. The cycle is actually fun, and unlike most other shooters dropping recently, the game actually works. I mean, my group and I logged in and played multiple matches without one glitch, bug, disconnect, or glitch in mechanics, which seems so damn rare after the era PUBG started. And speaking of mechanics, let's get into the game. Basically, users launch into this first person shooter with objectives you can find on the left hand side of your screen. Warframe players will be accustomed to this style of play considering the objectives are almost identical. Show up, start mining, and when the monsters come, fuck shit up. Alongside that, players enjoy custom loadouts with buildable blueprints for upgrades and an in-game gun purchase system akin to killing floors but on the move, meaning even during a firefight, you can quickly hit G, bringing up the quick access menu, order a sniper, and start popping heads. On to the game's movement. I believe players of the classic Halo or those in favor of Destiny will enjoy the style of movement this game offers. Jetpacks, super jumps, titan slams, and no fall damage are all a part of this, which makes the PvP battles interesting to say the least. I mean, just from the description of the game's buying mechanics and movement style, it's rather easy to imagine what you can do mid-engagement to overcome the odds. In conclusion, unlike the plethora of games I've played within the last year, this title actually has left me with a positive first look. If I had to give this a rating, it would be a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now keep in mind that's based off a of first look, and time can only really tell how good or bad a title will be. Nice. 